So another package arrived for me today in the mail and uh, it's another one of my eBay purchases and in fact it's another plastic ukulele um, but this one is one of the uh, antique vintage ones uh, from when plastic ukuleles first came out. So this is what the box looks like, quite large and square like rather than you know long and thin like a ukulele. I would imagine it's the size of box that they had so that's what they shipped and it's got written on it, handle with care don't crush, fragile, and then here's the information about it. So it is a vintage TV, pla TV Pal toy plastic ukulele, and it comes with a case as well. And uh, this one was uh, was listed at thirty dollars, and I bid at the last minute and went up a dollar to thirty one dollars. Uh, so that's what I got it for. And uh, then shipping was another fourteen dollars on top of it, and it was coming from uh, Pennsylvania. So this is going to be an unboxing video. I'm going to set the camera up on a tripod and we'll open her up and see what's inside. So just like the last one of these that I opened up, this is another uh, Christmas gift that I ordered for myself um, on the behalf of the person that's giving this to me. This is coming from my grandparents, actually. Uh, we'll just use my small little knife there to cut through some of this tape. I'm very anxious to get this open and you know see how, how good condition this thing is in because it is from the 1950s or 60s, uh, probably the 50s. They made them throughout the 50s and 60s. I'm just not sure when this particular one uh, was made. The year is probably not written on it anywhere. Uh, this video won't get uploaded until after Christmas, of course, because after I open this up and make sure it's, you know, survived the, the shipment, then I will do my review of the, uh, the seller. And then I will package this thing back up until Christmas Day when it will be mine to enjoy. Here we go. Inside there they've got lots of expanded foam padding stuff in there, which is good. I'm glad to see it's you know nicely packaged up. And right here in the middle, there's the ukulele uh, inside its case. Looks like a... I'm not really sure what the case is made out of. Uh, but it's packaged with uh, bubble wrap surrounding it. So I'll put all this stuff back in here. Get this off of my way. And here we go. We'll cut through some of this tape. And there's the case. Actually, it looks like a pretty, pretty old case, but still in fairly good shape. I kind of thought with this purchase that you know getting an extra case would be handy too, even if the ukulele turned out to be you know not in such great shape. And I wanted another one. I still have the case for uh, you know for my other ukuleles to use. So it's got a zipper here at the bottom to open up the case. It smells old. And there we go. Oh, I can see the case is really deteriorating, but that's okay. And there is the TV Pal ukulele. Yeah, that case really, I think this case is pretty much garbage. It's making a big mess of this stuff all over my bed and everything. That's okay. I'm just going to get a cloth and clean this thing up and then we'll get a closer look at it and give it a try. Alright, well I've got this thing pretty much cleaned up. Uh, this case is definitely just going to go right into the garbage right now. Um, just based on the pictures that I saw of this thing on eBay, it looks so clean and I went in there and it had all those little black specks all over it. And now they're making a mess all over my bed. Uh, so yeah, that's going to go right in the garbage, but I wasn't, didn't really have my hopes up too high for the case or anything, but uh, I'll just give you the quick overview of it. So at the top it says TV Pal Uke, a little star at the top, a little bit of the star is missing at the top. Uh, you can see a little bit of stuff here, uh, which I'll talk about in a moment. Uh, and they got some logos on there from the company and patented made in USA. So these things were made right in the United States. And you can see some more of this stuff right there, a little bit right there, uh, which I'll talk about in a moment. And you can see the fret markers there, 
which are white colored, the same as the same as the, the body, same as everything on the front is all white. Uh, the back is all black, uh, but everything on the front is white. Um, and then the bottom of the neck and the body and the strings that it came with you can see that they're colorful there's each string has its own color and I believe that's how they were sold originally with strings like that I'm not entirely sure that these strings are the original ones um, when I first saw the pictures of them I thought oh yeah they must be because of the colors but the texture of these strings is really interesting they're not like you know the regular plastic strings we're used to now they're, they're really kind of fibery I don't know how well you'll be able to see from the camera there but they're kind of like they're textured and they're like a kind of a it feels like they're kind of like a a stringy kind of material like an actual like rope kind of string like little fibers that are weave, wo woven together and then it's coated with some sort of a plasticky material on the outside uh, which is different. I, I thought that you know a plastic ukulele everything on it would be completely plastic So I thought they'd just be regular nylon strings. However, maybe they didn't have you know such a thing back then But yeah, it looks in you know quite good shape for the age that it is you can see it's kind of dirty um, Around where the strings attached there once I take these strings off I'll clean everything really as best I can and get them you know cleaned up and looking close to brand new as I can um, and I'm probably going to put on different strings than these. I'm not sure. I'd like to keep them because they're, if they are original, I'd like to keep them. Uh, but they don't really have the sound of the way that I'm, you know, expecting to hear this. So I'll probably put, you know, a good set of Aquila strings or maybe just regular nylon strings on. Uh, just to improve things a bit. But, uh, yeah, so there's the black bottom. And the back is in pretty good shape too. A little bit dusty now. A little bit scratched up on the back. Not too bad though. And then the neck, back of the neck, and the tuners on the back, the tuning machines, which are just tuning pegs. There's no sort of a uh, a gear system or a friction system or anything like that. They're just you know little pegs that are just stuck through the the plastic front there. And uh, you'll notice if you look along the sides here. Um, I notice at least there's a lot of glue kind of sticking out here. You can see. Right around there, there's that glue that's sticking out, and that's connected with the with these little bits that were on the front, and the same with the one that was up here. So what I think must have happened, and I know that these are this thing is assembled, like several different plastic pieces are then glued together, but I don't imagine that the factory would have made you know mistakes like that when they were selling their product. I imagine that some point along the way, someone re-glued this back together. I'm guessing, uh, and that's why there's all this you know, this over drips of glue all over the place. But, I mean, just a cosmetic thing. It seems to be, you know, really, really sturdy still. No, no cracks or anything in it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with, with this product right now. Um, I will end up doing a demonstration video of me playing it um, after I get this thing in tune. Uh, I did try and tune it a little bit, but it is difficult with these strings. And I'm really not sure even that these strings really do it justice. So we will, we will see. Alright, so I've got this thing somewhat in tune now. And we'll just do a quick little playthrough um, of a few uh, just things to hear what it'll sound like. I'll play a scale and a few chords just to give you an idea. I'm really not that happy with the strings that came on it. I am going to eventually probably make a video showing, uh, you know, a, a comparison of this as it is with some you know some proper strings on it uh, but for now we'll just play this just to show you what it's like right when it came out of the box and uh, so we'll start with the C major scale very quiet for plucking strings we'll play a few chords actually I'm finding. Um, these strings are like very very thin. They're just so thin on there compared to um, like another one of my ukuleles. It's 
putting them side by side. I don't know how well you can see, but they're just much, much thinner. They're just a tiny little thread kind of thing that's going through there. Anyway, that concludes my unboxing and demonstration video of my antique TV Pal Uke. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.